Alrighty, oh guys, welcome back to another video today. I'm back down at my local freshwater system. Gonna give it a crack at a little morning session chasing some bass. Got little squidgies tied on with a little spinner up top. Um, yeah, gonna walk around this morning, flick around some of the structure, try and find some fish. Super duper windy, so I'm tucked away right now in the bushes. But um, yeah, I'm keen as. I'll show you what, I'm, what I've got rigged up in just a moment. But yeah, let's get to it. Alright, so today I'm just going to be throwing for these bass, just a little beetle spin. So what this is, it's a little attachment that goes onto your jig head, I don't know how well you can see it. Pretty much just adds a bit of flash, a bit of vibration to the lure. I'm just running a little squidgies on the bottom there and I chuck on some of this S-Factor. Our main goal for today is just to hit all the structure that we can in this small little freshwater system. We've got bridges, we've got drains. We've got a whole lot of structure to hit. And fingers crossed there's a bass home. It's pretty windy today. I didn't realize it was this, this windy, but it shouldn't affect the fishing too much. So for these little lures here, all it is is a cast out and a straight line back. And you'll know if you hook up because the bass smash it pretty hard. There's a fish, there we go. There's one. There we go. The birds are all making noise, but. There we go, he's only a small one. But that's the first little bass for the morning, taking on that little, ooh, squidgies. Let's get him off. We won't get a hold up on this guy. He's just pretty small, but. There he is there, beautiful little fish. Let's get him back. Just covering as much water as you can and trying to not let this lure sink all the way to the bottom because it's snaggy as anything down there. There's concrete, barbed wire, trolleys, everything, but just keeping that slow wind. They'll kind of hook himself. That was a hit there, actually. There's one. There's another one. Same size again. There we go, another little bass. Same size as the one before, but nonetheless a beautiful fish. Hopefully we can get an upgrade. Pretty awesome though, pretty healthy looking fish from this system. Let's get it back. All right guys, we're on another one. Feels a bit more weighty than the others. But it could just be, nah, it's just another small one. Just fishing the drains in this bridge around here. And he was sitting right under it. Come on. He felt a bit better, but he was just fighting weird. All I did was fish, fish this drain here. And they like to sit in front of them waiting for small bait fish or insects to get pushed out it's just a matter of getting through the small ones to then get that big one i just want one to hold up one that's big enough because those guys are all micro
There's one. Another small one. Oh, he's actually a bit better. Yes. I think he is. Yeah, he's a bit of a better fish. There we go. Not a monster by any means, but a pretty healthy looking fish for this system. He'd go maybe 30 centimeters. Absolutely crushed that little spinner. Fat as well, pretty chunky one. They must be up here eating pretty well. So slowly, slowly getting there, slowly getting some bigger ones, but yeah, how good. We'll get a release on this guy. That's awesome. That's wicked. Then seems like there's a few hanging around this bridge here. So we might as well stay for a little bit, fix up that plastic. He was a bit of an upgrade. He would have gone maybe 30 centimeters, but we want to get one a little bit bigger than him if we can. I know they are in here. There's another one. Just another small one, I think. Yeah, he's another small one, but geez, he's fat. Look at that. Let's get him in the sunlight there. There must just be a whole school of them sitting around that edge there. Imagine that being the last thing you see. Wow. All right, buddy, off you go. Guys, that is going to be me for the day. Fished about an hour and a half this morning. Pulled a bunch of bass. A lot of them were pretty small, but I'm still pretty happy with that. Just shows that the system is going to start firing up soon. We're going to start getting some bigger ones. Um, stay tuned for more bass videos and everything, as I haven't even hit the bigger rivers and lakes and dams and stuff yet. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. All the gear that I'm using, link down in the description for you. So yeah. Have a good one, guys. See you in the next one.